will be starting off with the stretches, starting with the deltoids. These are the rounded muscles in your shoulder area. In order to do this muscle, you will need to stand in a ready stance, which is with your legs shoulder width apart and position your arms straight out to the sides of your body. Rotate your arms in a circle, your right arm in a circle. Do this for 10 reps. And then do your left arm for 10 reps. And then do both arms for 10 reps. This will make for a total of three sets. Hold your lower abdomen with your right arm if you wish, as it helps keep stability as you rotate your left and right arm. Now that we have stretched out and are ready for the workout, we will be going back to the deltoids. For this exercise, we will be doing alternating kettlebell raises. Hold the kettlebells underhand next to your head. Alternating hands, raise the kettlebell over your head, fully extending your arms. The next muscle in this workout will be the pectoral muscles, which are your lower chest muscles. To do this stretch, you will need a body bar. Stand with your legs shoulder width apart. Hold the bar over your head with palms facing inward. Move your arms farther behind your head for a better stretch. Do this for 30 seconds. Next, we'll, we will be strengthening the pectoral muscles, which are in your chest. Get in a normal push-up position, except move your hands wider than shoulder width. Go up and down, and get your chest as close to the ground as possible. The next exercise we will be doing requires the triceps, which is the muscle on the back of your arm. It is used when you pull objects. To start off, stand in an upright position. Then, move your right arm horizontally across your body under your chin, with your hand wrapped around your back. Apply pressure to your elbow, like you are trying to push your elbow back. Hold it for 30 seconds, then repeat with your left arm. Next, we will be working the triceps, which are the muscles on the back of the upper arm. Sit on the ground with a bench behind you. Put your hands on the bench and your heels on the floor. Push up from the bench with your hands and go back down. Repeat this 15 times. Next, we will be stretching the trapezius. This is the kite-shaped muscle in your entire back. It is used as an assistance to standing and lets you arch your back. For this stretch, you will be standing in a ready position, body upright, feet shoulder width apart. Put your hands on your hip and rotate your trunk and shoulders to the left. Hold this for about 10 seconds, then switch to the other side. Do this, do five of these for each side. The trapezius, which is the upper back diamond shaped muscle, will be the next muscle on our resistance training. For this resistance exercise, you will need a long resistance band. Place your feet directly in the middle of the band while standing upright. Grab both the handles and put your hands straight about at a 90 degree angle from your body. Slowly pull up on the band with both hands and hold it for two seconds. Do two sets of about 15 to 20. muscle we will stretch is the latissimus dorsi, which is the triangular muscle in your lower back. For this exercise, you will need a yoga ball and a dumbbell. Put the top of your back on the yoga ball and hold the dumbbell behind your head. Move the dumbbell from behind you to above your head and back. Three, do three sets of 10 reps.
biceps are the next muscle we will be stretching. They are located on the front of your arm. They are shown when you flex your arm. In this flexibility exercise, have your neck straight and your hand against a wall or bench. And then, gently lower your body towards the wall slash bench and let your arm go out further behind you until you feel a moderate stretch. The next muscle we will be doing an exercise for are the biceps. These are the muscles on top of your arms and are shown when you flex your arms. For the next exercise, we are going to be doing dumbbell curls. Pick up two five pound dumbbells and hold them against your body with your upper forearm locked out in front of you and your elbows pressed against your stomach. Lift up the dumbbells, pointing, the dump, pointing them towards the ceiling. Relax your elbow, lowering them back in, away from you. Repeat this three times and do 10 reps. Next, we will be stretching the abdominals. This is the muscle on the front of the abdomen used to do basic tasks like sitting up and breathing. For this stretch, lie down belly first and put your palms against the floor, leaving your arms locked straight up and your feet shoelace side against the floor. Push up with your arms, making an arch with your back. Hold this for about five to 10 seconds. Do 10 repetitions. The next muscle we will be working is the abdominals. This muscle allows you to lift up your body from the waist up and helps in supporting your upper body. For the next exercise, we will be doing sit-ups. Lay on your back and bring your feet as close to your glutes as possible while keeping them on the ground. Lay your arms on your sides and sit up without pushing off of them. Do four sets of five reps. The next muscle we will be stretching is the gluteals. These are the muscles under your lower back. They are used to support you when you sit. For this stretch, we will be doing glute raises. To do this stretch, lie down in a sit-up position, but lay your arms in front of you. Raise your glutes off the mat, making a bridge shape with your body. Hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds, and do three to five reps. The next muscles we will be training are the buttocks. These muscles allow you to sit and support you while you lie down. Lay flat on the ground or a mat, and then bring your knee across your stomach to the other side of your body. Do two sets of 10 reps per leg. For the next stretch, we will be using the quadriceps, which are the front of your upper thigh. These are used to aid you while you walk. To start, face a horizontal surface Preferably a box or a bench, with your feet facing forward and shoulder width apart. Bend your knees, preparing to jump. Swing your arms back and then forward as you spring off of your legs. Bend your knees while landing on the box or bench to achieve maximum clearing distance. Once you land, jump backwards off of the bench and repeat. Do five sets, five reps. The next set of muscles we will be using are the quadriceps. These muscles aid you in walking and help with standing. For this next exercise, you will be needing two five pound dumbbells. While standing straight, bend down with your knees and stand back up. Do three sets of 10 reps with 10 seconds of rest between each. The next muscle we will be stretching is the hamstring. This is the muscle on the back of the leg. It is also used in aiding you while you walk. The next stretch is a 90-90 hamstring stretch. Lay down flat on your back and bend one of your knees into your stomach. While doing this, lock your hands together on the back of your knee. Hold this for about five to 10 seconds and then do the same with the other legs. Do five reps. The next set of muscles that we will be training are the hamstrings. These muscles aid you in walking and, like the quadriceps, help you with standing. Next, we will be doing inchworms. Get into a push-up position and walk with your hands still on the ground towards your hands, keeping your knees straight. Then walk back into a push-up position. Do two sets of 10 reps. The last 
first muscle we will be stretching is the gastrocnemius. This is your calf muscle. It is also used in aiding you while you walk, as well as rotating your feet. Lastly, we will be working the gastrocnemius. These muscles help you support your body, as well as let you rotate your feet. For this exercise, we will be doing knee circles. Stand with your feet together, put your hands on your hips, and bend your knees. Revolve your knees in circles, one, to, one at a time. One set clockwise and one set counterclockwise. Do 20 reps for each direction.